This is what an independent country looks like. This is what Ukraine looks like. Our land, given by God, kissed by the sun, loud by the winds, tempered by fire, protected by its sons and daughters. This is what Ukraine looks like. Once you see it, you will fall in love. Once you've seen it, you'll come back. This is what Ukraine looks like. It cannot be confused with anything else. It is impossible to give it away to anyone. Dear people, Ukrainians always pay back their debt, and whoever wished misery upon our land shall find it in their own home, with interest. Whoever seeks to sow evil on our land will wrap its fruits on their own territory. This is not a prophecy, not gloating, not blind revenge. It is a pardon, it is justice, a boomerang for evil. And its launch began not far from the place where I am recording this address, the Suma region, Mohritsya, the river of Sel, a few kilometers from our border. The border between Ukraine and oppression, between life and death, the border between an independent European state and the number one terrorist organization in the world. 913 days ago, Russia unleashed war against us, including through the Suma region. It violated not only our sovereign borders, but also the limits of cruelty and common sense. It was endlessly striving for one thing, to destroy us. Instead, today, we celebrate the 33rd Independence Day of Ukraine, and whatever the enemy was bringing to us land has now returned to their home, and the one who wanted to turn our land into a buffer zone should think about preventing his country from becoming a buffer federation. This is how independence responds. It retaliates for our civilians, who are targeted by guided aerial bombs and kinjos, for our parents who have turned grey, for our children who are forced to study underground, for all our people who would prefer never to know the names of these cursed places in their lives. Savaslika, Alenya, Engels. But unfortunately, Ukrainians knew them. This is why our enemy will also know what the Ukrainian way retaliation is. Worthy, symmetrical, long-ranged. They will know that sooner or later a Ukrainian response will reach any point in the Russian Federation that is a source of danger to the life of our state and our people. The faded eyes of their chief perceive the whole world as a grey zone. But we will not allow to turn into a grey zone our lens, where the blue and yellow flag rightly belongs. A sick old man from the Red Square, who constantly threatens everyone with the red button, will not dictate any of his red lines to us. Only Ukraine and Ukrainians will determine how to live, what path to take and what choice to make, because this is how independence works. Ukraine astonishes once again, Russia reverts once again to its repriorate. This is how the world media generally portray the events in the Kursk region. They show how Russia treats its citizens, whom it calls the population. How Russia does not abandon their own. How their soldiers loot their local shops. This is what Putin's Russia looks like in the eyes of the world. And in the same way, the entire world sees how our warriors provide water, food and medicine to the local people who say, it is good that you are here now, not the Kadyrovits. This is what Ukraine's dignity looks like, civility, the virtue of our independence. 33 years ago Ukraine was reborn on the maps of the world, and today Ukraine wins the hearts of the entire world. It inspires with courage, it serves as an example how not to be afraid of Putin, and it unites the world around its Ukrainian worldview. In the 21st century, terrorists should find their reckoning in The Hague, not comfort in Valdai. And no one else in the world will say, there is Ukraine, because every continent now says Ukraine must win. This fuels our independence, our Ukraine. It has no lack of foreign regions. We need peace and tranquility on our lands, along the entire 6,992 km border, on land, at sea, in the air, inside the country, wherever we stand guard for our values. Just like our warriors do, in all directions of the front line and the state border, which is symbolized by the border pillars, and our will and struggle are symbolized by our people, our defenders, our pillars, those on whose shoulders Ukraine stands strong, 
It stands strong in Kharkiv, in Kupiansk, in the Zaporizhia region. It stands strong in Kherson region, in Pokrovsk, Toretsk and Chasevyar. On the Liman, Siversk, Kramatorsk, Kurakhova, Bremyovka, Ulaipolye and Urikhov direction. This is how independence fights. And I want to say to all our warriors today, I wish you a strong one. And thank you guys. When we need to defend Ukraine arose, you shortly said plus. Since then, for 913 days in a row, you have been applying a minus to the occupiers. Only you know how much effort, sweat, blood and your extremely hard work is really hidden behind the dry statistics of enemy losses. Only you know what it really means to hold a position, what it means to be pinned down by enemy artillery and aircraft all day long, what it means to stand firm when the orcs are pushing. You have preserved and you are preserving our independence. I thank everyone who helps our warriors and our state, all those who live and work to keep our independence working and living, our medical workers, our rescuers, our firefighters, power engineers, our volunteers and entrepreneurs, police officers and farmers, railroad workers, teachers and students, all of them, Ukrainians here, Ukrainians abroad, who help, find, send the necessary supplies, tell the world about Ukraine and everyone who stays with Ukraine in the temporarily occupied territories, all Ukrainians whose strength has no borders, whose will is boundless, all those to whom I am immensely grateful, and today and for each of the 913 days of this war, for the cause of each of you, for proving that independence is a cause for everyone, and it has many dimensions, each of which must be gained to secure comprehensive independence. This is economic, this is energy independence. This is the spiritual independence of the Ukrainian people. And Ukrainian Orthodoxy today is taking a step forward towards liberation from the devils of Moscow. This is also the realization of justice for the awards of an independent Ukraine, which will never again be worn by those who betrayed it. This is the realization of justice for foreign heroes who defend Ukraine on the front line and deserve Ukrainian honor, our citizenship. These are inevitable processes that have been launched by us today. This is how independence is strengthened. And there should be a solid border between us and the enemy, and there will be no walls between Ukrainians. Because Ukraine is in each of us, independence is in each one of us, and united we are able to win. It was proven by February 24th, it was proven by 2022 and 2023, this year is proven it as well. We have withstood, restrained and repelled the enemy, and now we continue to do so in their swarms. We know what independence is, how difficult it is to revive it, how difficult it is to defend it, but we know everything depends on us. We know what independence looks like. On the morning of February 24th, it was in our eyes. Today, independence is in the trenches in all directions. It is in our cities and villages. In each episode, when we find the best in ourselves, find Ukraine in ourselves and fight for it. Independence today has tired eyes that have seen it all. Independence smiles when Ukrainians succeed. Independence is silence when we lose our people. Independence is the oath to never forget the fallen heroes. Independence states of smoke and dust on the battlefield and in civilian life. Independence descends into the shelter during an air raid alert to survive and to rise again to tell the enemy again. You will not succeed. You will fail. You will not prevail. And you will be held accountable for everything. This is how we feel freedom. And this is what Ukraine looks like. This is what independence looks like. And this is what it sounds like. Так виглядає незалежність. А ось так вона звучить.
Happy Independence Day, Ukrainians. Glory to Ukraine.